Hi, Gains Gurus, and welcome to episode one of the supplement series. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of basic supplements in this series. And to start off with, we have creatine. So I found this really awesome study. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what the study is called. I'm going to give you a little overview by reading the abstract to you. And then I'm going to give you the conclusions from the study. This is so that you don't have to go read the study. But if you want to, I strongly recommend going to read it because it's a really good study and it answers a lot of questions, uh, common questions. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can trust these guys because it's peer reviewed and it's published. So without further ado, let's get started. The title of the study is Common Questions and Misconceptions about creatine supplementation. What does the scientific evidence really show? Supplementing with creatine is very popular amongst athletes and exercising individuals for improving muscle mass, performance, and recovery. Accumulating evidence also suggests that creatine supplementation produces a variety of beneficial effects in older and patient populations. Furthermore, evidence-based research shows that creatine supplementation is relatively well tolerated, especially at recommended dosages, i.e. 3 to 5 grams a day or 0.1 grams per kilogram of body mass per day. Although there are over 500 peer-reviewed or peer-refereed publications, I think it's supposed to be peer-reviewed, um, involving creatine supplementation it is somewhat surprising that questions regarding the efficacy and safety of creatine still remain these include but are not limited to one does creatine lead to water retention two is creatine an anabolic steroid <laughs> three does creatine cause kidney damage or renal dysfunction four does creatine cause hair loss or baldness five does creatine lead to dehydration and muscle cramping six is creatine harmful for children and adolescents seven does creatine increase fat mass eight is creatine loading phase required nine is creatine beneficial for older adults 10 is creatine only useful for resistance or power type activities 11 is creatine only effective for males 12 are other forms of creatine similar or superior to monohydrate and is creatine stable in solutions or beverages to answer these questions, an internationally renowned team of research experts was formed to perform an evidence-based scientific evaluation of the literature regarding creatine supplementation. It's a big paper. Scroll, 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 scroll. All right, conclusions. Here are the questions and their respective answers from the conclusions of the article. Does creatine supplementation lead to water retention. Creatine supplementation does not always lead to water retention. Is creatine an anabolic steroid? Creatine is not an anabolic steroid. Does creatine supplementation cause kidney damage or renal dysfunction? Creatine supplementation, when ingested at recommended dosages, does not result in kidney damage and or renal dysfunction in healthy individuals. Does creatine supplementation cause hair loss or baldness? The majority of available evidence does not support a link between creatine supplementation and hair loss or baldness. Does creatine supplementation lead to dehydration and muscle cramping? Creatine supplementation does not cause dehydration or muscle cramping. Is creatine supplementation harmful for children and adolescents? Creatine supplementation appears to be generally safe and potentially beneficial for children and adolescents. Does creatine supplementation increase fat mass? Creatine supplementation does not increase fat mass. Is a creatine loading phase required? Smaller daily dosages of creatine supplementation 3 to 5 grams or 0.1 gram per kilogram of body mass are effective. 
Therefore, a creatine loading phase is not required. Is creatine supplementation beneficial for older adults? Creatine supplementation and resistance training produce the vast majority of musculoskeletal and performance benefits in older adults. Creatine supplementation alone can provide some muscle and performance benefits for older adults. Is creatine supplementation only useful for resistance or power type activities? Creatine supplementation can be beneficial for a variety of athletic and sporting activities. Is creatine supplementation only effective for males? Creatine supplementation provides variety of benefits for females across their lifespan. Are other forms of creatine similar or superior to monohydrate? Other forms of creatine are not superior to creatine monohydrate. If you enjoyed this video or found it valuable, please consider liking, subscribing or engaging in any other way. Your time and support is greatly appreciated. Goodbye Gains Gurus. Thank you for listening and watching <laughs> and all the best. If you enjoyed this episode or found it useful, please consider. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode or found it useful, please consider subscribing, liking, or engaging in any other way. Your time and support are greatly appreciated. Thank you. Goodbye, Gains Gurus. And goodbye from Nacho. Nacho. That's the cat. So cute. Look at him. Bit of a grumpy cat at the moment, shame. We love them.